Iowa may not be nationally renowned for its fishing like its bordering states of South Dakota, Wisconsin, and Minnesota, but that does not mean that you don't have great fishing in Iowa. In this video, we're going to cover the popular species of fish in Iowa, where to find these fish, and the best fishing spots the state of Iowa has to offer. First, we'll be going over each species and the most popular species Iowa has to offer. We'll be going over the bluegill, crappie, yellow perch, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, northern pike, musky, catfish, both channel and flathead, and walleye or sauger, which I caught a 30 inch walleye in Iowa. Yes, Iowa. And I will tell the story later on in this video. Now, before we get to the rest of the list, if you are curious about fishing in Iowa, join the group 319 Fishing Group on Facebook as it is a community of serious fishermen I personally know and trust to give you great information. I am an active member myself. Let's start with bluegill. I will lump pumpkin seed, red ear sunfish, rock bass, and other bluegill type of fish. First of all, you will find one of these bluegill type of fish in just about any body of water in Iowa, including farm ponds. In Iowa, if you happen to find any 10 inch plus bluegill, you will have found a monster in trophy in Iowa. I've heard of the bluegill this size in farm ponds in the Mississippi River, but for the most part, you will find many six to seven inch bluegills throughout the state. It is easy to catch these year round, whether ice fishing or open water fishing. We'll move on from the bluegill and those other types of fish but they are plentiful all over Iowa. I know fishing in Iowa, but I also know real estate as I am a licensed agent in the state of Iowa with the Living in Iowa team. We help people all over the state buy and sell real estate and also the country and the whole world. So if you have any questions or planning on buying, selling, or investing in Iowa, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email as we would love to help you achieve your real estate goals. Now second is crappie. Iowa has both white and black crappie here in Iowa. This is one of my favorite fish to target. This is another fish you can catch year round in Iowa very easily and it's plentiful in the state. Some of the top places to fish for crappie in Iowa are the Mississippi River backwaters, especially in the Guttenberg area. Then you got Red Rock Lake, southeast of Des Moines, about 40 miles, that is great crappie fishing. And the top place most people go to for large crappies is Rathbun Lake. Iowa has many rivers and other lakes that have great crappie fishing potential as well. I have heard of crappies getting all the way up to 18 inches in Iowa, but that could be a fish tail as well. My friend Eric would always tell of the fish that got away and how huge it was, and we used to call it an Eric tail. If Eric is watching this, I'm sure he is laughing, but in all seriousness, I've heard of crappies getting that large in Iowa. Now we have the yellow perch. Yellow perch are the smallest relative to the walleye. There are a few hot spots to find them in Iowa. A few places to note if you want to find yellow perch in Iowa are Clear Lake in North Central Iowa, West Okaboji Lake in Northwest Iowa, Big Spirit Lake in Northwest Iowa, and if you ask me, the best perch fishing with the best size is along the Mississippi River in the backwaters on the eastern border of the state. I had a friend go to Guttenberg to catch pre-spawn yellow perch on the Mississippi River and he caught a 14 incher and he caught about eight to 10 of them already. So it's a really good time of the year in the spring to go to Guttenberg and catch those pre-spawn yellow perch. Now Dubuque and Guttenberg are notorious for yellow perch fishing. You can find them all year long, but they are highly targeted in the winter during ice fishing season. Anything over 13 inch is a monster here in Iowa and a trophy. If you are someone that just wants to catch something when you fish, then you will be inclined to catch the small mouth bass here in Iowa. This bass is very prevalent in Iowa and in most rivers and lakes in the state. To name the top smallmouth bass fishing would be like trying to name the best bluegill fishing. They are everywhere and grow big in many rivers and lakes here in Iowa. Anything over 20 inches is a monster here in Iowa and a trophy. Some of the most fun smallmouth fishing to me are smaller rivers like the Little Turkey River, Skunk River, 
Makokota River, and there's a lot more that I'm missing, but you get my point. They sit in the deep holes and they are ready to get your lure. Just throw a crankbait out there and you will catch some nice smallies. Largemouth bass are up next. I am more of a walleye guy, but if you like largemouth bass, Iowa has many of them from farm ponds to lakes. Although you will find them in the rivers too, the smallmouth is more prevalent than the largemouth bass in the rivers. Anything over 20 inches again is a big one and a trophy. There are so many lakes and ponds with the largemouth bass that again, it's hard to give you just a few options as just about all the public lakes offer them to go fishing for and they grow large. Let's talk about the catfish species with the channel blue and flathead catfish. The blue catfish is found predominantly only on the western border of the state on the Missouri River. They can get huge as the state record blue catfish was over 100 pounds. They are not as common as the flathead catfish that you can find in a water in a reasonable distance anywhere in the state that holds the flathead catfish. These beasts get over 80 pounds in Iowa and have tons of fishing opportunities. Personally, my favorite flathead fishing are on the rivers in Iowa where I have had friends catch 50 plus pounders on the Cedar River. Last is the channel catfish that are one of the favorites for Iowans to catch because if you know the right places, you can catch many of them on one trip. They can get over 30 pounds, but a good eating size, you will find three to eight pounders very likely to be able to be caught anywhere in the state. Rather than the blue catfish, the other two species are very common and great fish to catch and many people eat them. Now let's talk about the muskie. This fish is not everywhere in the state, but there are numerous places to catch these beasts. I live in Cedar Rapids and we happen to have two great muskie fisheries in Lake McBride and Pleasant Creek Lake within miles of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Other top locations to catch the muskie are the Iowa Great Lakes of Big Spirit Lake, Small Spirit Lake, West Okaboji Lake, and East Okaboji Lake. There are numerous other lakes that hold the muskie in Iowa. When the muskie is in a lake, you know it if you spend enough time at the lake that you're at, because if a huge muskie swims by, it is awfully impressive. The muskie is hands down the largest predator fish in Iowa. I've never heard of anyone ever eating the muskie though. I am curious if anyone eats them. If you do, comment below if they taste like a northern pike or not. Now we go to the relative to the muskie, and that is the northern pike, which is my wife's favorite fish to target of all the fish in Iowa. It is tasty and large, making it a popular fish for us to target and to bring home for some nice meat. You can find the northern pike all throughout the state and especially in the rivers in Iowa. Now I did a video on the rivers in Iowa and the northern pike is in all of them. If you'd like to see the video I did on the rivers in Iowa, check out the video linked above after finishing this video. Anyways, they can get over 40 inches in Iowa and are an absolute blast to catch. I saved the fish I'm absolutely obsessed with last and it is two species to me, but I look at them about the same and that is the Sauger walleye. I will never forget the first walleye I caught on the Mississippi River in Guttenberg growing up. I was hooked as soon as I saw the first walleye in person. Walleye are in many waters in Iowa, but are not easy to catch if you ask me. You have to know what you're doing or know places to go. That is the fun of catching these beautiful fish though. I'm sure you have eaten them, but to me, it doesn't get much better than the fried walleye. I recently learned of a recipe that sounds awfully good with Parmesan cheese as an ingredient. Reach out if you want that recipe. I will say this about the walleye, is that they are mostly stocked in Iowa and the main places they stock them from are the Mississippi River and Big Spirit Lake as they naturally produce in large quantities in both bodies of water. Don't get me wrong, there is good fishing in many rivers and lakes, but the Mississippi River and Big Spirit Lake are the best two bodies of water for walleye fishing, if you ask me. If you want a limit of walleye in nice size, then get to know 
one or both of these fisheries. I told you I would give you some great fisheries in Iowa, but if you have any questions, again, join the Facebook group, 319 Fishing Group, as we answer all questions. We just ask that you are serious about fishing and respect the fish and limits. Here is a short list of some fisheries all over the state. Rathbun Lake in Southern Iowa, Satherville Lake near Des Moines, Lake Sagima in Southeast Iowa, Lake Okaboji in Spirit Lakes in Northwest Iowa, Clear Lake in North Central Iowa, Des Moines River that goes through Des Moines, the Cedar River in Eastern Iowa, the Wapsipinicon River in Eastern Iowa, the Missouri River on the western border of the state in the Mecca of fishing in Iowa, the Mississippi River on the eastern border of Iowa. Now I told you I would tell you of my 30 inch walleye story. So in a nutshell, I attended UNI or Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls, Iowa where the Cedar River is on the north side of Cedar Falls. At the dam, I hooked what I initially thought was a big carp, but I found out it really was a massive walleye. I have it mounted and it's hanging on my parents' wall. Quite the deal, but there are massive fish in Iowa. You just have to work a little bit harder than the state like Minnesota or Wisconsin. Hope this video helps and make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos on living and moving to Iowa.